So here to discuss is conference board president and CEO Steve Odlin. He's also a CNBC contributor. Steve, it's always great to get your thoughts. The, uh, a guy who's got the pulse of the business community out there. Let's talk a little bit about why the jobs market right now is so in focus and what exactly is it telling you from a business sentiment perspective? Yeah, thanks, Tom. You know, the conference board is projecting that the U.S. will have a recession this year. We're saying it's going to be relatively mild and brief, but it should occur sometime between now and the end of the calendar year. And that will uh, have job losses as part of it. And this is consistent with what the Fed is saying as they try to battle inflation and bring the inflation rate down towards their 2 percent target, that they're willing to take some pain not only in GDP growth, but also in the job market. So we're projecting that there should be something on the north of a million jobs lost during this cycle. Our latest job loss index, though, shows that it's not going to be even across all sectors, that in fact some sectors are at much higher risk. They are the kind of obvious ones, Don, because you know during the pandemic and the lockdown, there was the, uh, the, the big rush in, in, in the uh, information services, the tech area, everything, e-commerce. And those are the areas that overhired during this period of time. And now you're seeing a fall off with that. And so that those sectors will be the hardest hit. Uh, following that will be warehousing and transportation, those areas that follow on from that same trend, but also construction, uh, repair, and some personal services. Construction, because as the recession kicks in here, construction should uh, should come down. The places where you're not going to see uh, layoffs are in the health and social service area, which healthcare is booming for all the reasons we know, aging market and so forth. And then the lowest risk is in the federal government, private educational services and so forth, which are very stable kinds of sectors. Steve, you've been a CEO in, in, in a prior life as well for a private sector business, not just here at the conference board. Uh, I wonder, uh, in, in the time we have left here, if you might talk a little bit about what you think or what you're seeing on the, from the conference board's perspective about just how big of an impact the regional banking issues that we have right now will affect the overall business environment. We've heard credit crunch mentioned quite a bit over the last couple of weeks here. Do you believe as though the business environment will slow down because of the regional bank issues that we've had? Well, the short answer is yes. Uh, and it's because mostly this lower, you know, this mid-tier bank to the smaller banks service the small business sector. And that's where we have the most worries, Dom. It's not the large businesses who are suffering, you know, lack of uh, access to capital. But, you know, small businesses run their companies based on loans or lines of credit from these regional banks. They use their own credit cards. You know, as cost of debt goes up, the cost of credit cards goes up, the cost of borrowing goes up, but also the liquidity comes down as these banks have to replenish their balance sheets. That liquidity comes out of the marketplace. And, you know, you saw this in 2008 and 2009 all throughout the sector where liquidity went to the banks. And that was the right thing to do. But the banks then didn't provide that liquidity back out into the marketplace, and you saw hundreds of bankruptcies. That's the risk today. So I think the Fed gets it. The Treasury is, is getting I mean, they're flooding the markets with liquidity. They're backstopping everything. I think they've done a good job of cutting the panic and so forth. But there are these ripple effects as banks become more conservative with their balance sheets. So our recommendation to CEOs is every CEO should be getting more conservative as well. You've got to have cash on hand. You've got to have lines of credit. You've got to have backstops. You know, you've got to make sure that in the worst case, you've got enough to get through whatever's coming here. All right. Steve Odland with the case there for CEOs. Thank you very much, sir. Have a nice weekend. We'll see you soon. Thank you, Tom.